Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the next video. If you're up to date with our IS300 engine build series, we have just fitted the new engine in and got the car running and started uh, on its base map. So the next step is to get our exhaust made up and to get the tune, the final tune done on it. But before that, we've got Nico here in the back trying to set up the bumper bar. We still haven't been able to put that on, but we have fixed the problem that we had with the intercooler piping. So that's all on, it's all nice and flush. We've got our extra joiners here, here, and this extra pipe from the seat that wasn't in the CX Racing Kit, which basically now makes the CX Racing Kit suit our Treadstone manifold and everything fits up nice and snug. So here's the extra pieces that we had to buy to make this kit fit up. We bought three of these 63 mil um, alloy pipes. We got this 90 degree 63 mil bend. And we also got this 90 degree larger 63 mil bend too. We got three of these. Basically to use as joiners to make this whole piece here line up. So we made that work. Now we just got to do a bit more trimming inside the bumper and we are going to have to take out this headlight sprayer wiper jets because they're touching inside on the cooler and on the cooler pipes and that's what's making us not able to fit the bumper on the car. So Nico wanted to purchase an IS200 bumper which actually doesn't have these have the headlight sprayers. If we purchase a new bumper, he was going to have to respray it again. And I feel it and then respray it. And that was just going to cost way too much. Oh, yeah. So this is the most budget friendly sort of way to do it. Might even take the fog lights out too, but we'll see. So now we're just trying this for now, just to test fit the bumper bar, see if it will work. And if it does, it's awesome. If not, then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. So as you saw in the previous video, we've got the car started on its own power with the Howtech Elite 2000 and the Boom Slang harness here. So now once that's basically all running and we've got the car all started, we're going to start routing this inside the cabin. So we're just going to take this battery bracket out, basically pass the wires through that original position there. Alright guys, as you saw in the time lapse there, we have routed all these wiring into the cabin from there. Let's fill that back up. And the boys have painted the intercooler black there, just for that stealthy look. Now we're going to be wiring up the map sensor. Basically, Corpus has found a intrusion yeah. on the intake manifold. I found that and I put a fitting here. So we're going to put the map sensor right there. The map sensor is bolted here. As you can see, it's a Haltec GM map sensor. And he's, he's taken that intrusion off and basically fitted this barb that we had laying around. And that's what we're going to use for our vacuum source. So, pretty awesome. Toyota's already prepared for us to turbo the car. Isn't that right? We're just going to hook that up there, then we've got the three port boost solenoid, Howtech one obviously, and comes with trusty instructions to put it for which setting that we want. So basically, connection methods for internal wastegate, connection methods for external wastegate, and high boost and low boost setups. We're just going to have it on the low boost one for now, just so we can get the car running and get it set up. And then in the future, when we want to put it to high boost and put on AD5 and tune it properly, we can just change the route up there. Doesn't look too hard, looks pretty simple. Follow the process on these instructions and should be all good to go. So here's the part number for anyone that wants to buy this 3-port boost controller from Howtech. 
All right, we've got the computer mounted up inside the cabin. We've got our blow valve plumbed up and we're just getting ready to put the boost controller on. But before that, I'm gonna give the car a start to see what it sounds like. <laughs> Yo, this thing sounds mean. guys and as you saw in the time lapse there we fitted up all the rest of the hoses and I'll show you exactly what we've done now and we also put the hood on cool is here loves the way it looks very good very nice <laughs> looks very good very nice also blocked off the wiper motor for the headlights so now so we can fit on the IS 300 bumper without the motors on there so anyway, we're going to make that fit. Got the blow valve plumbed up to vacuum on the intake manifold. We've got the wastegate all plumbed up just for low boost at the moment, just so we can tune it. And the three port boost controller all done there. We've got that bung welded onto the pipe coming off the turbo too. That's pretty much it. Just the exhaust now and then straight for the tune. Hoping for some big power. Just one problem we've come across at the moment is this pipe here is touching on the body right there. So we're going to have to do something to make that work, but that's an easy fix. And pretty much everything else is all finished up. We've got the ECU mounted up inside underneath the dash through that grommet there, standard grommet, and we've fixed that up all there. And that's looking good too. We're just going to leave this for now and then we're going to figure out a solution to do that after but for, for the meantime that's good where it is there. Also the fittings coming off the wastegate here were initially straight fittings. Now this wasn't going to work for us because of the throttle cable. The throttle cable was going to be in the way so we just went to the local parts store and we got a 290 degree fittings and we fit them both up there as well. So everything else is looking very factory. We got the hose coming all around here, down here, nice plug made up, and that hidden down there too. And that's pretty much everything done underneath the engine bay for now. We've got his standard ICE 300 grill on there too. Looking like a bit of a sleeper. The only thing left now is to seal up these covers for the headlight sprayers. We've got the tape on there already. And we're going to seal them up on the inside with some wind windscreen adhesive, some heavy duty stuff. We're going to tape that up and that one up there. And then the bumper bar should be all good to go on. All right, and the next day, we've got the front bar on, all fitting up, nice and snug, on both sides. It's on there solid, and here's the covers for the uh, headlight sprayers, all on there nice and solid too, they're not going anywhere. And look how close 
they intercalate to the grill, but we wanted to retain that grill there. Literally right there. I'm touching it right now. It's so stealthy, but in the black, you can't even tell it's there. And we've got his standard IS300 grill. And he also, there is the transmission cooler mounted right there. I haven't showed it previously, but we've got all that mounted up too. There's the hose there. And that's pretty much it for this one. This is going to be one awesome car, guys. Stay tuned for this build because it's not ending here. And Nico's just showing me the exhaust that he's purchased. It's a vibrant performance exhaust. Gonna look nice and subtle that one. And I and got an ultra quiet resonator. I don't really want it to be too loud. That's a bit of a look the way it's gonna look in there. Around there. Yep, that's gonna look nice on there, man. We can't wait. We're so excited for this build. It's starting to take shape and it's looking super awesome. Wow, what a car this is gonna be. So, once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you see, be sure to give us a thumbs up, it helps us out a ton, and subscribe for more content. See you in the next one.